Glory to Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai, Wahavakakwadash. In Hebrew, Yahweh is the name of our Almighty Heavenly Father, and that's in the name of His only begotten Son, Yahweh Shai, who is our Lord and Savior, and the Holy Spirit, which is the Rakakwadash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone for teaching us His truth. Honors to the brethren that's laboring, doing the work to push this truth, risking their life and freedom to do so. Also, honors to the hopeful elect, the one third of our people who's returning back to Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai during these final moments so that he will have mercy on us in this time of judgment. So, we back with another lesson through the power and spirit of Yahweh Wah Yahweh Shai to bring out another lesson. And the title of this lesson is going to be Stop Misrepresenting the God of the Bible. So you people out there, y'all need to stop misrepresenting the Most High Yahweh. Stop misrepresenting his son Yahweh Shai. Stop misrepresenting the holy angels. Because that's a great offense that's done in America by the so-called white man that they push throughout the world and push on our people. And let's look at the definition of this word misrepresentation the action or offense of giving false or misleading account of the nature of something. So <clears throat> when you give false or misleading information. So back in the 90s, early 2000s, people knew one day that the world would end and that the Lord will return to the earth and bring judgment. <clears throat> but what's the misinformation, the misleading information that's been heavily pushed in the 2020s that, oh, the black ETs are returning, the Anunnaki are returning, the spacemen, the black ETs, the Sumerian gods, they are returning. Everybody forgot that the scriptures prophesied that the son of God, Yahweh Shai, will return. Now everybody out here believing some kind of extraterrestrial race of people is returning. That's misleading information of who's actually returning. And then everybody pushed that, oh, these black ETs, these extraterrestrials are going to help humanity. The scriptures prophesied that Yahweh Shai and the host of angels will actually destroy humanity, destroy the nations while saving their elect. So that's the misinformation. That's the false or misleading information that's being pushed. You're giving false information about the nature of the Lord, who he is and what he's coming to do. It's the God of the Bible, the creators of heaven and earth, coming back to the earth to bring judgment, not to help anybody, but the elect. <clears throat> and these are two of the highest ranking holy angels. Michael and Gabriel, depicted as so-called black men. This one got a fro, this one got curls. This is who's returning. Not no black ETs, not no extraterrestrials, not no Anunnaki gods. But I got quite a few clips and pictures we're going to look at. So let's get into this first clip. And we see extraterrestrials are black. They are not extraterrestrials. They are the holy angels of the Lord. That's who's returning. But let's listen to this clip. Um, you know, because I don't think people, you know, people, if you hear about a human type alien, you want to, people want to hear about a, you know, eight foot tall, blue eyed, blonde haired, <laughs> well, and yeah. angel, you know, kind of being, yeah. you know, to go along with their belief system. You know, that, I think, one of the biggest issues, I was shown that there's, Apparently, there's going to be some sort of solar event that's going to cause the downfall of technological civilization. And after that occurs, all of, they call it themselves our cosmic cousins. All of these different ETs, including the African looking race I told you about, they are all going to fill the skies and come and assist us. I mean, how shocking is it going to be for. You heard what he said. That is going to be a cosmic event, which he means a solar flare that's going to wipe out technology on the Earth. He said after that, all of these different ETs, including African looking ETs, are going to fill the skies and assist us. 
Now let's go back and listen to this again. It's going to be some sort of solar event that's going to cause the downfall of technological civilization. And after that occurs, all of, they call up themselves our cosmic cousins. All of these different ETs, including the African looking race I told you about, they are all going to fill the skies and come and assist us. <clears throat> now that's false. Because the cosmic cousins, the holy angels, will be related to the elect. The elect of the nation of Israel, the Negroes, Hispanics, and Native Americans. The holy angels ain't got no relations to the Edomites, the Chinese, the Asians, the Africans, only to the Israelites. And they are not African-looking ETs. They are not extraterrestrials. They are the holy angels of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. That's who's coming, and they're coming to bring judgment. They're not coming to assist humanity. That's the misrepresentation of the nature of who the Lord is and the nature of what he's coming to do. And that's an offense because when you label the Lord all these different things, black ETs, extraterrestrials, Anunnaki, Sumerian, you are now creating a false idol. You're creating a false God. You can't label the Lord a false identity like you labeled us. That's an offense. So let's go on to our uh, next clip. Now listen to this. And here goes another one. Anunnaki gods are black. There's no such thing as an Anunnaki god. But let's listen anyway. At that time, I didn't know. What do you but mean? We have been in touch with the Anunnaki. Okay. And are you aware of the Clark McClelland um, sort of testimony that talks about, you know, this very, very tall spaceman? That's, do you remember that? Mm-hmm. So that, that was an Anunnaki, right? Say again? That was an Anunnaki. That was supposedly Clark McClelland always said that he saw this uh, very large, tall being instructing. A so, yeah, they said that these tall, black spacemen were Anunnaki. That's an idol. That's a false god. And matter of fact, I went to the Blue Letter Bible. I did a word search on his word Anunnaki. Local came up. No results found. Anunnaki does not occur in the whole Bible of the King James Version. So how are the Anunnaki returning if they've never been here? We got no report of the Anunnaki in the scriptures, meaning they don't exist. Those are false idols. That's fake. And look who's been talking in all these videos. The so-called white man pushing more lies. That's why the scriptures say, if thou shalt be in adversity, thou shalt find him there first. Our people being told a lie on the spot. And who's telling the lie? The so-called white man. To be lied to, that's you being in adversity. And when you being lied to, who's the one lying to you? It's a so-called white man. They push this stuff on our people and our people spread this confusion. And another one that I've often seen people talking about the Nephilim returning. Nephilim are supposed to be fallen angels. Like, let's look at this title here. The return of the Nephilim. Fallen angels, giants, aliens, hybrid. That's all BS. And look who's talking again, the so-called white man. The fall of angels, the return of the Nephilim. Who are the Nephilim? Who's talking? The so-called white man. And the Nephilim is who people say would be the demons or the demonic spirits. Well, these demons and demonic spirits are already here on the earth in spirit form, causing people to do wickedness. So these demonic spirits can't return if they're already here. The scriptures, the book of Revelation, don't none of that prophesy about the return of the Nephilim, the return of the, of the Anunnaki. The scriptures prophesy about the return of the Son of God, who is Yahweh Shai, and the host of angels. It don't say nothing about black ETs, no black aliens, no fallen angels returning. And I did a word search 
on his word Nephilim. Look what came up. No results found. Nephilim does not occur in the whole Bible of the King James Version. So Nephilim is nowhere in the scriptures. So where is, where is people pulling these made up words from? They getting them from Esau. Esau lying to the grave. Misrepresenting who's returning. Misrepresenting what's going to happen once Yahweh Shai and the holy angels return. And let's do that. Let's, matter of fact, and we're going to continue to our next clip. Now listen to this one. From people in the Pentagon that the buzzword in the, in the secret of secrets in the Pentagon is... Uh, and this is what's being talked about in the Pentagon. So let's go back a little bit and let's listen. <clears throat> The buzzword in the, in the secret of secrets in the Pentagon is uh, the Sumerian gods are returning. And that's what they're referring to, that whole area. Uh, uh, that, that wow. Can you repeat that again, just in case anybody missed it? The well, buzzword uh, in... In the Pentagon, in the, you know, the military circles that are in the know about the cover-up here, um, the, they kind of, in whisper tones, talk about the return of the Sumerian gods. And they're talking about the uh, what we would call aliens or fallen angels returning uh, into the Middle East, uh, into old Sumer area. So, yeah, he said the Sumerian gods are returning. You know, also the aliens, which that's why this did a lesson. Alien deception. I did part one last year. I did part two just the other day. There's no such thing as aliens. Those are the holy angels that's driving those UFOs. And the Nephilim, we already showed ain't no Nephilim fallen angels returning. That word Nephilim ain't even in the Bible. And the Sumerian gods ain't returning either. There's never been a living Sumerian god. And I actually did a word search of Sumeria and gods in the Blue Letter Bible app. And let's read Isaiah 36 and 19. Where are the gods of Hamath? And Arphad, where are the gods of the Sararvum? And have they delivered Samaria out of my hand? So the gods of Hamath, Sararvum, Arphad, those are the fake gods of Samaria. And what did the Lord say? Have they delivered Samaria out of my hand? Because the Lord brung different judgments upon Samaria and nobody saved them. That's why the Lord says, have they delivered Samaria out of my hand? And the Lord said, where are those gods? Where are they? Because they fake. It's made up. So none of these fake gods are returning. And now when we dive into the scriptures, not, uh, Psalms 96 and 5, for all the gods of the nations are idols. So all the gods of all the other peoples outside the nation of Israel are idols, meaning they are fake, they are dead, they are non-living, and they have no power. They was created out of people's imagination. Let's continue. But the Lord made the heavens, but Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai made the heavens. Those are the two extremes of the gods of the peoples of the earth. On one extreme, all the other gods of the nations are idols, meaning they're fake, they have no power. They made nothing. The people created these gods. But the Lord made the heavens. But our God, Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai, he made the heavens and the earth. And he made us. So those are the two extremes. The gods of the nations were created by the people. They're idols. But our God, who created the heavens, created us. We didn't create our God. He created us. So our God ain't no idol. You have a him, you have a shy. So the Anunnaki, the black ETs, the spacemen, the Sumerian gods, they're all idols. People created these out of their imagination. Let's continue. Matthew 22 and 32. And this is Yahweh Shah speaking. I am the God of Abraham and the God of Isaac and the God of Jacob. So people saying all these different ETs, all these different extraterrestrials, all these different gods returning. But ain't nobody saying that the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob is returning, except 
the man of the Lord, his servants, the prophets. So all these people are wrong, keeping our people and the world in confusion and darkness, giving misleading information about who's actually returning to the earth. God, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, is not the God of the dead. Who is the dead? This don't mean physically dead people. People who don't have the Holy Spirit. People who believe in these false idols of the nations. But Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai is the God of the living. The people who believe in the creators of heaven and earth, who is Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, who has the Holy Spirit. Who don't believe in these fake idols so yeah that's who's returning the god of abraham isaac and jacob now let's read isaiah 29 and 23 but when he see of his children the children of israel the work of mine hands yeah because the lord created us in the midst of him they shall sanctify my name and sanctify the holy one of jacob and shall fear the god of israel so that's who's returning, the Holy One of Jacob, the God of Israel. Ain't nobody saying that's who's returning. Everybody claiming Anunnaki, Sumerian, Nephilim, Black ETs, aliens. No, the God of Israel is returning, the Holy One of Jacob. And the one Edomite said, yeah, the Black ETs are going to fill the skies and they're going to come and assist us. No, the Lord says that and they shall fear the God of Israel. How can you fear the God of Israel if he's so-called coming to assist humanity? People are going to fear the God of Israel because the Holy One of Jacob, Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, is coming to destroy humanity and destroy the nations and judgment. Hey, you, you can tell I'm pissed right now. I get real pissed when people misrepresent the Lord, when they lie on the Lord. Why Jesus returning? Aliens are returning. These Anunnaki Sumerian gods are returning. I get offended because I know who my God, I know who my Lord is, and yeah, I know who He is. And I know what He's coming to do. Genesis twenty four and three, you know, going into some more titles of the Lord, how He should be addressed, and let's read this. The Lord. The God of heaven and the God of earth. That's who's returning. The God of heaven and the God of earth. The God of, and why is he the God of heaven and the God of earth? Because he's the creators of heaven and earth. The gods of Samaria. What did the Lord say? He said, where are they? Have they delivered Samaria out of my hand? The Samarian gods, the Anunnaki, the Nephilim. That's all BS. Black ETs, sp uh, spacemen. They didn't create nothing. They can't be found in the scriptures. There's no paperwork on them. They don't exist. They're not coming to help humanity. So yeah, the God of heaven and the God of earth. That's the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, the Holy One of Israel. And when we hit Isaiah 47 to 4, as for, my, as for, our, redeem, as for our Redeemer, the Lord of hosts, is his name, the Holy One of Israel, not the Holy One of all people, not the Holy One of earth, not the Holy One of African Americans, the Holy One of Israel, who are the Negroes, Hispanics, and Native Americans, the true biblical Israelites. That's who's returning. Nobody's pushing that except the man of the Lord, his servants, the prophets. We the only one that's claiming that the Holy One of Israel, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob is coming. Everybody else is claiming that Anunnaki are returning. Sumerian gods are returning. Everybody's returning except the God of the Bible. And who is the originator of all those lies? It's the so-called white man. Every clip I just played, every video that I just showed on YouTube, who was speaking? The so-called white man. So the white man is actually speaking against the scriptures. We speaking for the scriptures. So Esau, he lying all the way to the grave. He got to pay because our people believe that BS too. As for our redeemer, the Israelites, not, not the redeemer of all people. The Lord of hosts is his name, the Holy One of Israel. 
What does it mean, Lord of hosts? Who is this host? The, the word host means the army of angels that's returning with the Son of God, whose name is Yahweh Shai in the Hebrew. And I got some information on this word host. So in the Blue Letter Bible, we see host. And the reference would be H6635. Strong's H6635. Sava. H6635. Strong's H6635. Sava. Sava. And how is this word host used in the scriptures? Let's see. Army. Army. Host. Host of organized army. Host of angels. So the Lord of hosts is the Lord of armies. It's the organized army of the angels. So the Lord of hosts is who is returning with the host of angels, who is the organized army, who is the army of the heavens. That's who's returning. And then when we look at the literal definition in the Hebrew, host means a mass of persons organized for war. So the Lord of hosts is the Lord in the mass of holy angels who are organized for war, an army, an army of angels, soldiers waiting upon warfare. So the angels, they come in to the earth to make war. And that's in the scriptures. So let's go to our next scripture, Isaiah 49 and 26. And now will feed them that oppress thee. Who is the thee? That's the nation of Israel, the Negro, Hispanics, and Native Americans who oppress us, the so-called white man Esau. And now will feed them that oppress thee with their own flesh, and they shall be drunken with their own blood as with sweet wine. So does it sound like the Lord of hosts is coming to assist humanity? Or does it sound like he's coming to destroy humanity, coming to destroy those who oppress us? Let's continue. And all flesh shall know that I am the Lord and thy Savior and thy Redeemer, the Mighty One of Jacob, the Redeemer of Jacob, the Savior of Jacob, who is Jacob, Israel, the Negroes, Hispanics, and Native Americans. It's our Savior and our Redeemer. And we're going to know that it's the Mighty One of Jacob when the Lord takes our oppressors and feed them with their own flesh. And make them drunk with their own blood. I mean, he's going to destroy them in battle. That's how, that's how the world is going to know that he is the Savior, the mighty one of Jacob, the mighty one of Israel. He's going to destroy the nations, but save the elect of the nation of Israel. And what does it mean to be a mighty one? Meaning you're mighty in battle, mighty in war. And that's our next scripture. Exodus 15 to 3. The Lord is a man of war. The Lord is his name. Lord is all caps. So it's actually supposed to be Yahweh. So Yahweh is a man of war. Yahweh is his name. So yeah, the Lord is a man of war. That's why he's referred to as the mighty one. That's why he's also referred to as the Lord of hosts. The Lord of armies. The armies. Um the army of the angels. Now, continuing from here, when we read Revelation 19 and 11, and I saw heaven open and behold a white horse and he that sat upon him was called faithful and true. This is Yahweh Shai. And in righteousness, he doth judge and make war. So yeah, this is in the book of Revelation. Telling what's to come. So Yahweh Shai, who's called faithful and true, he's coming to make war and righteousness. Righteousness means it's in harmony with the scriptures. So Yahweh Shai coming to destroy humanity, to destroy the nations, that's in harmony with the scriptures. So yeah, Yahweh Shai is coming to make war. He's not coming to assist humanity. And going back to this word misrepresentation, to give false or misleading information of the nature of something. 
so-called white man talking about these black ETs are going to fill the skies and assist us. That's false and misleading information on account of what the Lord is coming to do. You misleading people to what's going to take place in the earth. Then when people see all these so-called ETs who are the holy angels in the skies, you're going to have some people thinking it's time to celebrate. Now the scriptures say every every all kids of the earth shall wail, meaning they're gonna be crying out, weeping and hollering. The Lord ain't coming to help nobody. Why did the scripture say that they shall fear, you know, the God of Israel? Because he's gonna destroy the nations. He's coming to make war with the nations of the earth, beginning with the so called white man. And that's why when we read Job three and two. Was stated here, I will also gather all nations and will bring them into the valley of the Jehoshaphat. That's in the Middle East. We see these nations being gathered together now. That's World War III, when all these different countries fight against one another. And will plead with them there for my people and for my heritage Israel, whom they have scattered among the nations and part of my land. So the Lord said he's going to plead with the nations of the people for his heritage, for his people Israel. How is the Lord going to plead with these nations? Is he coming to help them? Well, let's go to Isaiah 66 and 16. For by fire and by his sword will the Lord plead with all flesh, and the slain of the Lord shall be many. So when the Lord says he's coming to plead with the nations, for his people Israel, he's coming to slay them for his people Israel. Because again, for by fire and by his sword will the Lord plead with all flesh. So going back, and will plead with them there for my people Israel. So the Lord is gathering the nations in the Middle East to slay them for his people Israel. Now let's go up one, Isaiah 66 and 15. For behold, the Lord will come with fire and with his chariots like a whirlwind. The chariots being the so-called UFOs, the air force of the heavens, the vehicles of the holy angels. So yeah, to render his anger with fury and his rebuke with flames of fire. So yeah, the Lord is coming with fire with his chariots to render his anger and fury with flames of fire. That's why when we hit Zephaniah 3 and 8, Therefore wait ye upon me, saith the Lord, until the day that I rise up to the prey. So that's the Lord stepping up to the battle. For my determination is to gather the nations. World War Three, that I may assemble the kingdoms, the kingdoms of the earth today, China, Russia, America, Europe, and so on and so forth, to pour upon them my indignation, even all my fierce anger, for all the earth shall be devoured in the fire of my jealousy. So yeah, the Lord is going to pour upon them his indignation, all his fierce anger, and devour them with fire. That's why going back, the Lord says he will render his anger with fury and his rebuke with flames of fire. So the Lord is not coming to assist humanity. They're not coming to assist the human race. That's what the white people will say. That's misrepresenting what the Lord is coming to do. That's giving false or misleading information concerning the coming of the Lord. And also, when we dive into 2 Thessalonians 2 and 8, actually, before we get into the scriptures, I got a number of videos we're going to watch real quick. They are real short. They're going to be real quick. All right, so you see what's in the title of this video, The Galactic Federation of Light. And this is another light pushed by the so-called white man. That Galactic Federation, that's the Lord of hosts. That's the Lord and his army of angels. This is a chariot, a so-called UFO, the angelic vehicles a transport vehicle for the holy angels. 
So that's another big thing that's been in the talks that the Galactic Federation is returning. Next video here. Listen to this Edomite speak. Still a prophecy, um, and this prophecy comes from the Galactic Federation of Light. And it she said it is a prophecy that's coming from the Galactic Federation of Light. That's the Lord of Hosts and his army of holy angels. Y'all are misrepresenting who the Lord is, giving him all these labels that are not in the scriptures. The Galactic Federation of Light, again, is Yahweh Shai and the Holy Angels. And just an extra video here to show. Talking about the Galactic Federation spaceship engineering. So saying those who come on the spaceships to Earth, that's going to be the Galactic Federation. And who is that Galactic Federation? That's Yahweh Shai and the Holy Angels. That's the Lord of hosts, the mighty one of Jacob, the holy one of Israel. And where does that term galactic federation come from? Let's go to 2 Thessalonians 2 and 8. And then shall the wicked be revealed. The wicked is capitalized, meaning it's representing the man, it's representing the people. And the wicked is Esau Edom, the so-called white man. Genesis 25 and 25, Malachi 1 and 4. So the wicked has been revealed through the scriptures. Whom the Lord shall consume with the spirit of his mouth and shall destroy with the brightness of his coming. What's the brightness of his coming? The Lord is coming with the, with the nuclear destruction. That's going to be that great explosion. And the Lord bringing his own fire too which would be the laser beams from the chariots. So the Lord is going to destroy the wicked with the brightness of his coming. So that's the light part. The Galactic Federation going to come with the light from the nuclear destruction. Even him who's coming is after the working of Satan with all power, signs, and lying wonders. That's the so-called white man. He's come after the working of Satan. He's doing the agenda of Satan in the earth and with all deceivableness of unrighteousness and them that perish. You know, this is two thirds. Everybody that's, that's going to be deceived. Everybody that's unrighteous. How do you be unrighteous? Because they have not love. They have because they receive not the love of the truth that they might be saved. If you, if you don't receive this truth, that means the Lord didn't love you because they received not the love of the truth and galactic federation of light what's light again that's the truth the lord didn't cause the truth or didn't cause that light to shine on those who were deceived and galactic the word federation represents justice righteousness so that galactic federation would be yahweh bashim yahweh shai and the holy angels because going back to Revelation 11 and 18, he who sat upon him was called faithful and true. That's that light. That's that federation. This is that justice system. Because again, in righteousness, that's justice. He doth judge. So the Lord is coming to judge the earth in righteousness. So that's the galactic federation that these so-called white people keep talking about that's coming to the earth. It's coming to bring this truth and everybody who don't receive this truth, they're going to be deceived and destroyed with the so-called white man. But when we read Ecclesiastes 5 and 8, if thou seest the oppression of the poor, invited perverting of, ju of judgment and justice in the province, marvel not at the matter. So saying, if you see the nation of Israel the Negroes, Hispanics, and Native Americans oppressed, and the violent perverting of judgment and justice, meaning the lack of judgment and justice, marvel not at the matter. Don't be surprised. For he that is higher than the highest regardeth. Who is the highest? Who, who has the highest position in the earth? The so-called white man. You know, the Supreme Court, the judges, you know, the people who's supposed to bring judgment and justice, 
for he that is higher than the highest regardeth. That's Yahweh Shai. He, that's he who is higher than the form of justice in the earth. Yahweh Shai and his angels, that's um, the justice system in the heavens. So for he that is higher than the highest regardeth, and there be he higher than they. <clears throat> also, Galactic Federation is nowhere in the scriptures, in the whole Bible. And even when we go to YouTube, Galactic Federation, we can see that too. You know, being pushed by the so-called white man. See? Different lies coming from the same person. There is no Galactic Federation. That's the Lord of hosts, the Lord and his army of angels. But that's why the scriptures also say, He that believeth on me, as the scriptures have said, out of his belly shall flow rivers of living water. So you got to believe on the Lord, who he is, as the scriptures have said. The scriptures have said that he's the God of heaven and the God of earth, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, the Holy One of Israel, the Mighty One of Jacob. That's who's coming. What is he coming to do? To destroy the nations, to destroy humanity, to save the elect. And you got to believe on that as the scriptures have said. The scriptures don't call the Lord Anunnaki, Black ETs, Sumerian gods. The scriptures don't say that the Lord of hosts is coming to assist humanity. So you got to believe on him as the scriptures have said. And according to the scriptures, the mighty one of Jacob, the Holy One of Israel, the Lord of hosts, is coming to destroy the nations. So again, stop misrepresenting the God of the Bible, the, uh, the Son of God, Yahweh Shai, and the Holy Angels. He's coming to bring judgment. And everybody that's misrepresenting him, y'all going to be destroyed. So again, I just did a lesson, 80 and Deception Part 2. Tune in to that. There's no such thing as ETs, aliens, Anunnaki, Nephilim, the Galactic Federation. That's the judgment system in the heavens. The Lord of hosts, the Lord of his angels. So stop misrepresenting the Lord. Until next time, Shalom.